Good morning. This is Joanne DeBalso from No Fuss Accounting Services. And today what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to be able to uh, set up and start tracking your credit card transactions within your QuickBooks file. I've had several clients um, over this past year um, come up with some quite unique ways of being able to try to account for their credit card transactions and um, I want to show everyone now the proper way to be able to set up a credit card in your QuickBooks. So let's get started. Uh, first I want to bring your attention to your home screen and on the home screen underneath this banking section that I'm circling here with my pointer you'll notice that there's a big gaping hole right here down at the bottom right and once we actually set up this account for the credit card we'll have a new icon will show up here so uh, the first thing we need to do is open up our chart of accounts and we're going to um, actually add that credit card account is the first process you have to do now to get to the chart of accounts uh, you can get there in several different ways I'll show you a couple of them right now um, right on your home page there underneath the company box there's a chart of accounts option right here where it says view and modify your QuickBooks chart of accounts also across the top menu lists there's a the file edit view underneath the list menu you click on that and there's the chart of accounts will show up there also for anyone who is using the accountant edition underneath accountant the chart of account shows up here and then lastly, I've set up on my icon menu bar the chart of accounts right here. Also, I can get into it from just from the icon bar. So I'm going to go ahead underneath company, chart of accounts, open up the new our chart of accounts screen. Down at the bottom, there's a menu box for accounts. We're going to open up that menu box and we're going to choose new. And on our options for the uh, tracking the value of the assets or liabilities for this account we're gonna highlight the circle here we're gonna click it that says credit card hit continue and then in this adding screen we're gonna set up our card and for today's example we're gonna use American Express so we don't leave home without it um, after I've entered in the account name if there are going to be more than one credit cards under American Express with different account numbers I like to actually add the last four digits of the account number on here so I'm gonna set up the 5555 for this account hit save and close and of course because I recently installed the 2010 version Intuit is giving me a little commercial set up online services I'm gonna click no because I'm not going to activate the online services with this account Go back to my home page and now you'll see down here at the bottom the icon is enabled for entering the credit card charges. We're going to click on this and now you're good to go to be able to continue to add your transactions within your credit cards. For example, you can type in we're going to use Office Max for $100 and Office Supplies automatically shows up that's what I've designated for this particular vendor we can sh I'll show that how you set that up in a separate video uh, $100 and we'll hit save and close now you'll see up here on my home page back to the account balance American Express shows up with a hundred dollar balance hope this uh, helped you guys out in setting up your credit card within QuickBooks I'm gonna have some for future videos that will show you how to reconcile your credit card also how to uh, default your vendors for your chart of accounts to save a little time check me out on Twitter follow me on Twitter I also have a Facebook fan page no fuss accounting services and my blog is at nofussaccounting.wordpress.com thanks have a great day